when you turn in your code or turn in your project, I'm going to look at your code and I'm going to start looking at efficiency. Right here is a piece of code that's not in use. This needs to be removed when you turn in your final project. This is sort of like an outline or a rough draft in your English class. You have a few things sitting around and I do want them removed. So you can go ahead and drag it over here. I'm on the uh, application, not the web version. So if you're on the web version, it looks a little bit different, but you can save a version to your computer as like a rough draft. And then you can save the final version uh, if you want to have a couple extra things that you're playing around with. But in the one you submit, I'm going to count uh, all the extra things sitting around. The other thing you have to do for your project is you're going to need four items for sale. They all need to look different. Uh, I don't care which character you have. You don't need to use the cat. Uh, I was just lazy. I did make the cat bigger. I think I made it 150. All right. But what you will have to do is animate the apple or whatever fruit or thing you choose to purchase. You have to animate it so that there's some visual feedback. I'm going to animate it in a way that I do not want you to animate it. I'm going to make it move and then move back. Uh, you are going to have to do a different animation that um, involves something in it. You could move it, but you have to do something uh, in addition, like change the size, uh, rotation, color, some type of feedback. So I already have the code when this sprite is clicked. Before I do this, let's go ahead and go to looks. So what I'm going to do... Oh, not looks, motion... Uh, dun, dun, dun. We'll use the go to, uh, and then we'll use another go to. All right. The go to here, these values, if you look, are the current X, Y position. I know the font's kind of small, but wherever your Apple currently is, is the value these things are set when you drag them in. So if I go to. Uh, oh, and go to is not a good choice. Um, I want to glide. Yikes. All right. All right. So this will glide us back to that position. When the sprite is clicked, uh, let's just go ahead and I'll just change this to maybe 130 and negative 100. So I'll just change it a tiny bit. And we'll hit play. That's not a great animation um, because, well, it doesn't really go far enough. So let's do maybe negative 90, 120. So it's going to go a little further. I want to go way faster. So we'll do 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So it'll move much faster. So that's much better right there. All right. So you're going to have to do an animation that... Uh, acts differently and if you want to you could do a different animation if you have money versus if you don't have money uh, in fact actually you were gonna have to do a different animation uh, because that would be cool so how do we do that oh, oh come on I will go here we go so my animations only gonna happen if I can purchase it if I cannot purchase it you will add another animation here All right, when I can't afford it anymore. You'll see it stops animating. All right, you do have to, whatever you do, you have to undo. And also, if some of these animations, uh, some of this code does not actually wait any amount of time. So if you look, I put a zero second uh, glide right there. And, oops. Three. Uh, another thing you can do is add a weight, and that will be weight right here. And you can wait. I'll do a, another 0.3 to keep it consistent. So if you're doing things, you may need a couple of weight commands. Like if you're doing rotations, you might need a weight command. Just so that it's actually obvious that something is happening. If you're, all of your uh, things happen instantly, 
nobody will actually see it. 